Yes, good day ladies and gents. This is Zan the Sportsman TV. Yes, well, first of all, I would like to say thank you to all the Arsenal fans that turned up to yesterday's protest outside the Emirates Stadium. Yep, it's about time we've done it. It's a little bit too late, but better than never. That's all I can say. Um, yeah, this has been our ongoing saga for so many years with Stan Kroenke. Yep, lack of investment into the football club. Enough is enough. This has been going on for a long time. And I tried to explain to many people what has been going on at the football club, the politics behind the football club, all the negative energy. I tried to um, explain to people that it wasn't Arsene Wenger's fault. Yeah, fair enough, Arsene Wenger had these stubborn ways in terms of um, team selection and that lot. Sometimes, yeah, we, we, we already know um, that's Arsene Wenger, but that, that, that's, that's Arsene Wenger, that was his character. You got what I'm saying? But you, you have to acknowledge what Arsene Wenger won for us. You got what I'm saying? And you, you also have to remember yep, um, the type of players that Arsene Wenger signed under David Dean as well. Since Stan Kroenke came to the football club, we've just been on a downhill slope. You got what I'm saying? And with Wenger being, having limited resources, not much Wenger could have done. So every, a lot of people wanted to point their fingers at Wenger and I tried to explain to many people that wasn't the case. It was all Stan Kroenke all along. So now Arsene Wenger is no longer at the football club. Now you're seeing the problem for itself. Yep. And it took so long to um, respond to this. But I'm, I'm glad it's been sorted out. It's better late than never once again. But this is a message that Kroenke is not welcome at this football club. Yep, we need to put this message across. He's not welcome. We want him out. We need to get rid of him. The guy's a leech. The guy's a parasite. He's sucking the veins out of our football club. He's sucking the heart and soul out of the football club. We need to get him out. This guy is, is no good. If you look at the guy's net worth, he's about worth £9 billion. £9 billion. Pound. Can you imagine? Right? He's not that um, much far behind Chelsea's Roman and Abramovich. Yep, a net worth of nine billion pounds. The other day he spent seven hundred and twenty-five million dollars on a ranch. Right? If you convert that into Arsenal Football Club and you put invest that money into into Arsenal Football Club, we could have won the Champions League. Yep, we should have won that trophy so, so long ago. Yep, it is 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 ridiculous. And and this is why we had to sell so many players to help fund for the Emirates Stadium. We're not in debt. But because of bad um, structure and bad dynamics of the football club, there's no direction, no leadership, um, um, sloppy directors c coming from the top. This is why we're on a downward slope. And it's ridiculous. I'm getting fed up with this. It's happening season in season now. We've got such a leaky defence that needs to be sorted and, and, it's, and it's not being addressed. Yeah, and there's other departments that need to be sorted as well. In the squad, it's, it's not... So, um, being sorted out, yep. A lot of people are having digs at Mikko Arteta. He's still a young manager, you have to give them um, guy patience. He's still learning on the job, yep. He's a very young manager, you got what I'm saying. So, people have to be patient. That, but there's so much Arteta can do if he's not being given the resources and the backing and the support from Stan Kroenke. Remember, it starts from the top all the way down to the bottom. There's, there's no pressure on the directors yep it's all about making money and and greed uh, that, that's that's a philosophy at this football club at the moment and it's not good enough and i'm very annoyed yep enough is enough and we we need to do something but i'm glad we're slowly doing um things like this now the next objective i, I need to address as well we need to have more of these protests we need at least a good 50 to 80 more of these protests yep whether it's match days or non-match day Yep, we, we need to have at least two more, um, two, two, two of these, yep, um, every non-match day, at least. And when the crowds open up again, at least an hour and a half before kickoff outside the ground, and we protest inside the ground for the first 20 minutes of the match. That's the only way the point is going to get across. And also, we need to invite those big American TV stations to come down and um, 
do coverage and broadcast us outside the Emirates Stadium. The big um, TV companies like um, HBO, um, Showtime, ESPN, CNN, CNBC, Fox, all the big American TV stations you can think of. Because if it's just the British ones, um, nothing's going to um, really be done about it. It's just going to be... Um, um, the message is going to be just going to be spread at national level and nothing's much going to be done. But if it's the, the big American and Canadian ones um, that gets involved, this is going to expose them all across the United States. And a lot of the, the American Arsenal fans will turn on Kroenke as well. And that will rattle him, that will shake him up and that will back him up against the ropes. And he will have to do something because enough is enough. I'm fed up of it and I'm, I'm sick and tired of... of my football club and your football club too, all Arsenal fans, you know, be making a, have a mockery be made out of the football club. I'm fed up of it. And we should, we should be competing for Premier League titles every season. If we're not winning the Premier League, at least second or third place, minimum, you got what I'm saying, with a cup. I'm not saying um, um, you're going to win cups every season, but you should be fighting for cups at least quarter final or semi final every season. Yep, yeah, that's our standards, and that should be our ex expectation. It's not good enough what, what's going on at the moment. I'm sick and tired of it, and it's, and it's despicable. It's very disgraceful. We've been taken from mugs, and I'm fed up of, of our football club, of, of a mockery show being um, taken out of us. It's, it's very unfair on the fans who come and spend their money. And the leech is just taking money out of the football club and investing in, in, in his NFL um, football club. It's disgraceful. The guy doesn't know anything about football. Yep, as Americans call it, soccer, right? He just come into the club to make money and just leech on us. I'm, I'm fed up of it. It's disgraceful. Yep, I can go on all day about this, but I'm going to have to move on now. But um, once again, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment below. Um, like if you can and don't forget to subscribe that's the most important thing do not forget to subscribe once again this is Zan the Sportsman TV signing out goodbye for now thank you very much for watching and attending